I'm Worcester County Sheriff Louis Evangelitis. We're thrilled to be the first, the first Sheriff's Department to utilize the B-Scan technology that was available. Um, as Sheriff, you want to use every tool possible to help solve uh, and make corrections safer environment. So we're doing everything we can to keep drugs, keep contraband out of our facility. And when we became aware of the B-Scan that's through Smith Detection Systems, we were very interested in it. And we investigated, we researched it. It turned out to be an incredible tool for us. So we jumped right on it. We got you guys in. We discussed uh, the possibility of bringing the full body scanner to our facility and it's worked out tremendously well. The first thing, and even to back up with the idea of having a body scanner, why you need it, and is that if you're in corrections, you are dealing with the issue of people trying to bring things into facility. It's 24-7, 365. It's an ongoing battle for anyone in corrections. The people, inmates particularly, are trying to smuggle and sneak things in. So we have to really be vigilant about it, and we all have, and I assure you of this, every sheriff's department, every correctional facility has a couple things going on. Number one is they have zero policy, zero tolerance for anything coming into the facility. You also have about 100% of the inmates probably conniving in some way to get things in the facility. So with that in mind, everybody I'm sure is looking at what the tools are that are available. My recommendation would be take a very close look at the full body scanners like Smith Detection Services has, Avail Systems has available. They work, they are very graphic in what they can obtain for information when a person is scanned, and we've been able to find a lot of things that we would not have found otherwise. And in the end, that makes everybody safer because things that get into a facility, particularly drugs, can create a very unsafe environment for the inmate and for the officers. And that's something we do everything in our power to prevent. You know, the officers have taken to this very, very well. First of all, the officers know that this system is going to help make this facility a safer place. Those officers that work in our intake area, particularly, their job is to find and not let anything into our facility in their area. Well, they know that being able to use a full body scanner has made their job better. They can do their job better and they can keep more, more things out of our facility. So as far as their training goes, it's been relatively simple. But what I found with the officers is once they get it, and it doesn't take long, they are extremely proud of their grasp of this. It's technological, you know, you're running a, essentially a, a full body x-ray mach machine. They are very proud of the fact that they are on the cutting edge of the technology available, and they're very proud of the fact that they get to demonstrate it to many people that come through our facility, and they get to use it every day, preventing contraband from entering our facility. So the officers have taken to it extremely well, and I think not only the officers using the machinery, but also the rest of the officers in our facility. We have hundreds of officers. They are proud that we are using this machine, and they're proud of the officers who, who use it on a daily basis, because they know, in the end, we're all a team. We're all in this thing together. So it's just another, another tool and another weapon for us to use to keep our facility safer. Well, the B-Scan detection system that we have is able to detect in a body, a full body scan of an individual, able to detect virtually anything that they have inside their body, which means we get to utilize it on a daily basis, looking at everyone who enters our facility. And because of that, let me give you an example. We've had people entering our facility with multiple bags of heroin inside their body. Uh, different body cavities, uh, sometimes they, they digest them, sometimes they put them in other body cavities. We've been able to detect the smallest amounts. We've been also, the word has been out on the B-Scan, so we've had other departments bring people to our department to have them scan before they're brought into their facility. We had a woman brought to our facility. We found nine bags of heroin on her. They were not going to be able to find. We were able to find it. So especially even women, scanning them can be a different procedure. This machine gives us the ability to see things on a deeper level than we would normally get to see. So I would say overall, it is the ability of the technology to be so precise, to be able to train our officers to see things of the smallest detail, to raise the questions and awareness. And that means if we have to put someone you know, in a dry cell for a day, they maybe would have gotten through the system before. We all know what a dry cell is, I believe. Uh, if you have to be put in a dry cell, you might not have been put in that dry cell before, but now we know and we wait you out and we get it. 
And I would say we've seen a drop in the amount of contraband brought in dramatically since we've been here. The incidents that involve potential contraband coming in dropping dramatically. And I'll, I'll give you one more instance. Uh, the, the technology is so precise and the scanning is so detailed that we've actually let some of our inmates coming through didn't even know that they still had things like bullets inside their body. They didn't even know it, but we were able to scan it and tell them. So we've seen some crazy things on the scan just by doing this day in, day out, and you're dealing with an inmate population. So we've been able to detect a lot of things, sometimes to the surprise of even the individual who comes through the scanning things. But more important to us, we've been able to detect the drugs and the contraband on a level that we've never been able to do before, and we think it's extraordinary.